The squirrel is cheering me on. Well, it feels good to get that um, kitchen counter fixed, uh, but that was my big my big to do for the day. So I actually feel pretty proud of that because I've been really laying low. I have a condition called hypermobile Ellis Daniel syndrome, and so I've actually been in a lot of joint pain and have some nerves, <laughs> maybe a little out of place. So it's uh, it's been just kind of progressing, getting worse for the past couple weeks. So um, it got to the point where I was crying most days and I just found just life was getting really hard, uh, just being in so much pain and feeling so like weak and all my muscles like just constantly exhausted and really tight. Uh, yeah, so I just uh, decided to take some time just to rest um, and just relax and just do as little as possible um, so my body can start to kind of get out of like fight or flight mode. Uh, so it's been a few days now. I really haven't done much, but I'm feeling a little better. So I've just been staying out here um, in the forest. But actually where I'm parked is technically not allowed. Uh, I am risking a $10,000 fine to be parked here. Uh, even though I'm on Crown Land, which is public land, um, it is within the municipality boundaries, uh, which they have decided is not allowed. So, yeah, but, um, but with my body being the way it is and the roads being like kind of snowy and icy, I can't risk getting stuck, I'm trying to get unstuck. <laughs> uh, I just don't have it in me physically or mentally to deal with snowy back roads. Um, so yeah, it's, I would rather just, um, take my chances that I might get in trouble and, there's somebody just like down the road a bit closer to town who's been there for weeks day and night and they have a kitchen set up outside so 
I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I think I'm going to go out for a little walkabout now because it does make me feel a lot better to get outside and just, just spend some time uh, with nature, even if it's slow, just taking it in and focusing on gratitude for the world around me. Do you want to go for a walk, buddy? Do you want to come with me? Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay, I won't be long. I'll see you soon. This is like so much stuff that's just being left along the river here and it's been fully logged in the past like just massive massive trees just cut down and yet what they're really concerned about um, is not all the trash left here from industry past or all the locals that dump their yard waste and appliances on the side of the road they're worried about people like me sleeping in my vehicle. Alright, I was watching the creek there. <laughs> I just started to get a little freaked out. I got this feeling like maybe I should move along. Um, which is very rare for me. I rarely get that feeling, but I do have a history in these woods. Um, and then I like walk away from the creek and the path I'm walking, like a bear had previously taken. And I know there's bears in this area that are very active all year. They don't hibernate. I've come across them countless times. And I'm pretty sure those other footsteps I saw were like a cat, like maybe a bobcat. Uh, they're definitely too small to be a cougar. Uh, but I have a bit freakier history in these woods here. I am not far from where I had my Sasquatch encounter. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go back to that spot and tell you that story another day. Anyways. <laughs> I just keep looking around. I do tend to be a little more on edge than I normally am when I'm in this particular area. And I've been feeling like a really strong other presence uh, since I've been staying around here most nights. And um, yeah, it's, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, I don't necessarily feel threatened, but I do feel very alert to something else being here. So, uh, yes, I think it's time to get out of this little spot.
So I'm just pulled over on the way back to my van. Uh, I just need a little break. If I wasn't in a van, I probably wouldn't get out. I wouldn't want to spend the energy to drive somewhere to be outside because like even that is hard on my arms right now. And so the fact that I'm parked in the woods, even though I'm illegal, uh, which is honestly so annoying. And, um, you know, there's like some of my favorite woods here have been like mowed down to put up multi-million dollar homes. And I can't sleep in my van on the side of a forestry road on crown land on public lands. <laughs> I have to risk a fine. I had a pretty hard time uh, living in a house when I would have you know, challenges with my physical or mental health. And uh, it just took too much to get outside. I just wasn't able to do it. I would just get stuck inside and just spiral like downward, just really negative thought patterns. And um, there's comforts in a house that would be nice to have. Like I would love to be able to just soak in a tub, but I'd rather be close to nature. Um, so the fact that I can just walk out my door and into the woods and just move slowly through them and pay attention to all the little things and just feel so grateful that the forest exists, that there's like moss and footsteps from other animals to know I'm not alone out here. And yeah, I just feel so grateful uh, to be a part of nature. Yeah, focusing on gratitude really, really helps me through these challenging times I have with my body. And um, yeah, it keeps me from kind of sinking into despair to just look around and just see endless things to be grateful about. Like, just like some moss on a stick. Like, it's just, it's so beautiful. You know, when I was talking to you at that last spot, I heard like rather large footsteps like just behind me, like over the log and I shot up to look and there was nothing there. Uh, but I decided to like walk over this way a bit, like closer to my van. And it ended up putting me like right in this glorious spot to enjoy the very limited sun rays of the day. So um, yeah, I feel a little more helped out than spooked out. So it's nice. All right, bud, let's go back. Yeah, buddy, you wanna go home? Yum. Oh. Hi, do you want your treat? I figured out this piling the other day. It's my sleeping bag and then my pillow and then my 
yoga bolster so I can be upright but have my head fully supported because my neck was all out of whack. Uh, I had an injury to my neck close to 10 years ago. Uh, it's never quite been the same. So just like a nerve or something was like out of place and I could hardly move my head for the day. Uh, but yeah, so I figured this out <laughs> to get some relief. It was really nice because my arms can just hang and like all the pressure comes off my shoulders and elbows. It's so nice. Really nice restorative position. So yeah, just going to enjoy the view out the window for the rest of the day's light. Just enjoy being warm and gazing out at the greenery. All right, so I've been trying to go really easy on myself lately because I would like my elbow to stop hurting. Um, it's actually a lot nicer to live not in pain, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, and so one of the things I've been doing to eat nutritious food without having to like do so much work is I've been buying these like bagged soups. So this one is carrot, coconut, ginger soup, and then I can just heat them on my stove inside and uh, it's just a lot easier than like anything else and I don't want to resort to like fast food because that's not very nutritious uh, so I mean trying to stay focused on nutrition and rest so my body can just calm down and stop hurting um, and it would be really nice to not be in pain but I am and so you know you just kind of accept that and do the best I can with it. So I actually installed these um, hinges or like locking hinge on this table like a little more than a month ago because until then I had just been propping it up with a stick but um, if it got like bumped up a little bit then the stick would fall out and I couldn't sit next to it here because like my thighs would hit it and stuff and it would just collapse. So I did that install when I was like out camping and I didn't have any heat. And then um, as it turned out, the self-tapping screws that I just reused from before uh, don't really work when there's nothing to grab onto on the hinge and then it's just through like the door. Whereas before they held pretty good because it was through the wood and then the door and it was like enough to keep it from rattling out. So that's why I had to put those bolts in this morning. So it was really nice to spend some time outside today. I'm glad that Frank came out for the second half. He really likes eating the like crunchy ice snow. But yeah, focusing on gratitude has really helped me through this challenging time to stay positive. I used to fall quite easily into like self-pity and despair and get into depression and then like not eat well and not look after myself the way I need to and that would just make things worse. Uh, and it, and um, yeah, it really helps like to have a good mindset when you're going through tough times which is why i tried to stay positive with frank and uh, we actually had another ultrasound we went down to the city like a week ago for like a high resolution ultrasound and it came back clear and his anal glands are clear now whatever was going on there has cleared itself up so um he's like good like he's like clear the vet doesn't want to see him until the spring uh, which is really exciting because it opens up like a world of possibility for us for the rest of this winter. Um, so while I've been working on healing myself, I've been spending some time just like thinking about what I want to do, where I'd like to go, and just trying to figure out the road ahead because we don't need to stay in Squamish um, much longer. I'm going to spend a few more weeks here for myself um, just to keep getting help with my body. But yeah, I'm in a surprisingly good mindset for being in so much pain that I've cried a lot. Um, but I just, I don't feel like I'm complaining, like internally, like my thoughts to myself, like are not complaining or self-pity. Um, it's just like, I'm in pain. That's just like a statement of fact. That's what I'm experiencing. Um, and I do wish it was different, but it's not. So like I accept it and just dealing with it the best I can.
All right, so it has been a couple days. I just continued to rest. Um, and then I was kind of getting like this weird feeling like I should get out of there. It probably wasn't a good idea to keep staying there. And then as I was like pulling off the forestry road, the police were turning down it. And I don't know if that has anything to do with me or the other people living down there, but um, I do tend to trust my intuition when it feels like it's time to get a move on and it's definitely saved me a lot of hassle in the past listening. I've had some pretty close calls crossing paths with authorities that um, I was certain were coming to tell me to move along or worse. So, uh, but I, yeah, I had to come into town today for an osteo appointment. So I went and showered at the climbing gym, which feels really nice. The past couple days have been a little weird. I had quite a hard time in town and then uh, I ended up almost fainting at the grocery store which was very frightening. Uh, i not really sure like what happened but it took me quite a while to gather myself enough to be able to drive back out to the forest to just kind of like regroup. <laughs> But thankfully today I woke up feeling a lot better. The osteo was super helpful. It was my second time going and I look forward to going back. Um, also continuing to go to community acupuncture. Uh, so I just wanted to say a huge thank you for tuning in and watching my videos and tolerating the ads and sponsors and that kind of thing or supporting the sponsors because um, without your viewership and support, I would not be able to get the type of help that um, I'm seeking for, like, <laughs> my health. <laughs> uh, none of it's covered here in, in Canada. None of, none of those types of things are covered. Um, the only help I could potentially get would be, uh, like, prescription painkillers, and even then, I don't think they'd be covered, and for me personally, that's just, like, a path I'm really, really trying to avoid. Uh, going down. Um, I do have an extremely high pain tolerance. I have had many fractures <laughs> without even taking ibuprofen or shedding a tear. So uh, when I say that the pain I've been in lately has led me to tears, um, it's, it's really bad. Uh, but I'm still smiling. I'm still content. I'm just so grateful um, for nature around me and for you. <laughs> Uh, being here and uh, allowing me to pursue uh, modalities that are really helpful and healing. So thank you. Um, if you're interested in becoming a patron, I have a sale on now until the end of the year where you save 16% when you sign up for an annual membership. So you just pay once and then you get all the exclusive content for a whole year so it's a great deal it is the biggest discount patreon will allow me to give so there's a few different tiers the basic one is just updates uh, some behind the scenes like real-time updates because there's a gap between videos in real life um, and then the treat fun tier uh, i do monthly wallpaper bundles so that's really fun so if you enjoy my videography and imagery um, you can have that on your phone or computer wallpaper or digital photo display. And I include one of Frank every month, uh, just like as a token. Um, but it turns out people actually put Frank on their wallpaper, which is really precious. But yeah, that's it for this video. I have filmed the Sasquatch story. That's going to be coming out real soon. So uh, make sure that you've subscribed if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. It's going to be out in a couple days. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And let me know where you think I'm going to head when I leave Squamish. Uh, I'd love to hear your theories about my next location. But yeah, that's it for this video. I got just the most adorable clip of Frank uh, to share with you. It's oh, made me squeal. But yes, I hope you enjoy and have a nice day. Bye.